G'day all, welcome back to Frostbite's G.I. Joe Repro. We're here tonight with Guy with things stuck on his head and someone from Woodstock. <laughs> hey man. Yes, that's me. Um, Adam, how is Melbourne? You will refer to me as Snake Eyes from this day forth. Not scrotum eyes. No, that would be you. How is Melbourne? Melbourne is all right today. Nice autumn weather. Yep. Uh, little Housy was a bit of a busy boy running around doing a few things and went to the Cairo and picked up a couple of toys and fluffed around with the dogs, cooked dinner, you know. Are you man about the house. fixing your back from that dog food incident? Yeah, mate. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's going to be going on for like until the end of the year. That's shit else. Yep. Aaron, how's Adelaide? Uh, it's beautiful. Um, yeah, absolutely beautiful. Stunning. Stunning in the last couple of days. And local okay. footy started up over the weekend, so um, uh, I uh, am back in the swing of things on, on, uh, on, the, on the footy club front. And uh, we didn't get the win, but um, it was a good day out. And uh, I get to get, catch up with the boys, and that makes me happy. So, How yeah, far off? are you from being the captain of the football club the captain of the football club hmm. how far off i will never yeah. I'll, <laughs> I'll never be i'll never i've never played football so i'll never be a captain um but yeah no, but you can be you can be captain of the building club <laughs> the president yeah yeah no the uh, the gentleman that runs the football club is is a Dear friend of mine, and uh, he's not looking to move on anytime soon, and he does a great job. Uh, so I'm happy to serve in his stead and just look okay. after cricket. Yeah. yeah. Right. You could also be Captain Gridiron if you wanted to be. You can be whoever you want. <laughs> Absolutely. Be Captain America. Like, do you like my shirt? Like. Captain I'm, Grateful I'm, Dead. Yeah. <laughs> I made this shirt myself. Well, I did. And yeah. uh, I made it some time ago. It's the only attempt at tie dye that I've ever made and it turned out all right and uh i was just um looking through my wardrobe and i spotted it and i thought i'll put it on and it's got me thinking i want to sort of have another crack at tie-dyeing so okay i side? have an idea <laughs> shoot another crack at tie-dye yeah but make it a joe related t-shirt i could do that absolutely <laughs> what like different greens or something Maybe like a, for instance, you know what? Perfect example. You could do like <laughs> a techno viper, and you could go like purples and blues and all different hues. Okay, sounds like a plan. <laughs> Absolutely. Just some inspo. Put it on the inspiration board, mate. Why not? Why not? Um, okay. Well, Canberra was somewhere between eighteen and twenty-two today. We that didn't ask. Day outside, and we oh, are. It's starting to get really cold at night and we're waiting for Anzac Day to roll around where uh, the Canberra tradition for all the locals is you don't turn your heaters on until Anzac Day. <laughs> Fair enough. Whereas okay. I'm not from Canberra naturally, so if I get cold, I just put the, the heater on. <laughs> is it like, okay, I, I got to ask. It, okay. Like... <laughs> Where did you pull that from? That this is a Canberra tradition. I've never heard this before, and I'm curious: is are you making a bit of a gag here, or is this something that is a thing? My wife is from Canberra, mate. Okay, mm. I did not know that. Okay, yeah, all right, <laughs> and that's a thing. Not not yeah. until Anzac Day. Yeah. Are they really that starved for entertainment? Yeah. Up there yeah. that you have to come up with such things. Yeah. Yep. Okay. They're not my people, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. People watching, fourth members. What do we got? Who's We've here? Got a Kiwi. Mm. Campbell, how are you, mate? We have 
a brother of Kiwi. <laughs> Quinto. It's a family affair. It's a family affair. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Lilith, how are you, mate? Thanks for joining. We have a Connect 3 third Kiwi. Legend. Phil. We have yeah. the human car, Ben Shinnes. <laughs> Shinnes. Uh, the Kingswood. Uh, the Kingswood. Campbell, that is now your job for every broadcast. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah. Now if there's you're four this and, there, so it shouldn't be hard to get a like. Exactly. If you're, <laughs> if you're yeah. watching this and you don't know what to comment, comment that. <laughs> I've actually yeah, got so. um, we've got eight people watching, so please, oh, yeah. please eight likes. That is our goal for this this whole yeah. night now. Just eight likes. Make your presence felt, those of you yes. who are lurking in the shadows. Absolutely. And and say hello in the comments so we know. Uh, yeah. You know you're kicking around. We'd love to. Uh, we'd love we're interactive, to as we would say. Footy was the winner, Phil. It was. Um, yeah, yeah, it was. My team wasn't, but footy was. <laughs> Jeez, Aaron, did you leave your crayons in the wash? <laughs> no, it's, it's, what do you reckon? Really, pretty good, eh? Ooh, ooh. Aaron's got, and indeed I am. <clears throat> Watch this space. I'm going to do some more. I'm, uh, I'm already YouTubing. Um, I like rugby league, but yeah, AFL or Union, I'm not a fan of. Footy is a boring sport. It's the best way to put me to a coma. Cool. Don't care no, what you think. Cricket, actually. <laughs> cricket, I can't watch. <laughs> Any form of cricket. Uh, that's a good thing about cricket. Everyone's like, oh, cricket puts me to sleep. That's a good thing. Putting you to sleep is a good thing. It's very relaxing. GI die. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. I, I wonder if I can. Me. I wonder if I can tie dye shirt with like the GI Joe logo, not tie dyed. So it's tie dyed like this, but the GI Joe logo is still white. How that would you do cool. that, Aaron? I don't know. You'd you'd have to um come up with some way of of preventing the um the dye from seeping into the logo. So you've you've, you've probably seen me wear one of my tie dye t shirts. On the yeah. show before, or even in, I might have even had one on when I met you in person, Aaron. I can't recall, but I've got one yeah, that maybe. has like a skeleton dunking a basketball, and <laughs> it's it's like it's almost like I don't know, it's not screen printed over. I don't know how they did it, but um, yeah, it can be done. It can be cool. done. Cool. <laughs> um, Zazel, how are you, mate? Zazel in the house. Uh, yeah, that's pretty accurate, Dazel. Go sports, go sports, go sports. Go sports. Uh, these two have not hugged today. We steal all the good Kiwis, we do. You can steal me anytime, Zazel. Woo! Okay, that's getting that spicy in it, really man. quickly. Yeah. Getting spicy in yeah. the chat, it's getting hot in here. Love <laughs> uh, quad rugby, you mean like wheelchair rugby? Yes. Um, and I watched a documentary years ago. I think it was called Murder Ball. Yeah, it was, Lenny. I've yeah. seen that. Because they, Good doco. I only knew about it because they had the dude from that doco on Jackass. Ah. Yeah, yeah, he was. I don't know. It was one of the movies, I think, and they're on a dock and they attach like rockets onto bikes and stuff. And then <laughs> next minute, this quad rugby guy pops out and they attach rockets to his wheelchair and send him off the ramp. I've seen I, tell you right, I tell you right now, if they ever made a jackass action figure line, I would be buying those fucking things like. <laughs> well, if anyone's going to do it, mate, it's going to be Super 7. I can guarantee you that. Mm. Um, what else? What else? What else? I still need to get the Johnny Knoxville WWF figure, actually. That reminds me. Okay. All right. Um, 
Oh, hang on. Shameless plug. <laughs> uh, yep. No, they're great, Zazel. I do enjoy watching them. <laughs> they're nice too, Zazel, because you've been pumping out so much freaking content. I can't keep up. Yeah, me either. Those things yeah. I can at least just watch real quickly. Yeah. yeah. Zazel has been on a roll. I always get onto YouTube and think, oh, surely Zazel's live. And every time I go on there, he's not live. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's one of these things <laughs> that Basil's broadcast. They're on all the time, but they're at yeah. weird hours yeah, that yeah. I can't watch. No. Not on when I, when I can watch. <laughs> but, Zazel, I do try and uh, replay whenever I can. Uh, yeah, right. Oh, what? Ooh. This well, is I'm news? Sure. I've never heard about that. I haven't heard that story either. Wow. I always like more information on this, please, Ben. Where's Corio Bay? Corio Bay. Yeah. It's down sort of near Geelong, I think, if I'm okay. um, correct. Wow. Zazel, honestly, I don't know how you are keeping up <laughs> with all that content. Uh, like, if I can't yeah. keep up watching it, I don't know how you're keeping up making it. Uh, oh, said I can't keep up. Um, okay, purchases. Adam, what do you got? Well, I just flashed one in front of your eyes, but I'll show it again. Got yep. old purple, purple meanie over here today. Mm -hmm. Nice work. From Zing. How many of those did you get? Three? Two. Two. <laughs> and how many are you going to open? Two. You already opened one on your video, didn't you? No, that was the red one. This is separate. Right. Yeah, that's the 788 Fire Team one that comes with the... HMS. Yep. These bad boys come separate. So he the will PMS. be the uh, <laughs> he will be the unofficial uh, leader of that squad. And I also okay. got old mate. Big, Big boa. boa. Big banana. <clears throat> yep. Eat your heart out, Rocky. So yeah. Um, and how many of it. how many of boa did you get? Uno. <laughs> How do you decide if you're going to get one, two, or three of a figure? Well, I only get like one of the mainline characters, hmm. but army builders, I will work with a rule of three to six. So, is it just the vibe? No, it's not just the vibe. <laughs> it sounds like the vibe. <laughs> It is it is the method to my madness, Lenny. That's what it is. I just sort of decide at the time how I feel about the figure and how many I'm going to get in a number between no, one and six. No, no. I, look, this is the way I apply it, it's for instance, with, with this guy. Right? So he is basically <laughs> the combat engineer slash technician, whatever you want to call him, right? So he's not going to be cannon fodder, plentiful running around firing pew-pews at Joe's. He's going to be, you know, doing his thing in the background. So I don't need or want that many of those. Wow. So, yeah, that's how it works. You think about purchases a lot more than I do. I'm just like, yeah. shiny yep. acrylic case, yep. woot woot. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, if yes, I, I do. Multiply the techno viper by the square root of blah blah. There is really not that much mathematics involved, I assure you. Um, dudes, there's nine. Sorry, I've got that bad thing. Dude, there's, there's six nine likes, um, six likes, and there's nine people watching. At Ooh. Least. Ooh. Shame on you, the three of you who haven't liked yeah, this damn video. Three. Get out. Some Someone's lurking. Uh, Rake. I don't know who Rake is. Oh, wow. Okay. Mm. Do you know Rake, Rake is? Like or just big, tall well? guy, long hair. This really doesn't narrow it down much. And a beard. Uh, he was kind of like, I think. Oh, yeah, no. He's the. Bams, he's one of Bam's there. mates, I think, yeah, from right. memory. Mm. He, he, I think you'd see him more in Bam's show from yeah. memory. I do remember. He's that. Uh, he was long haired, right? Yeah, yeah, I 
Yeah. Yeah. They didn't really mention his name a whole lot. Nah, he was like a hanger on sort of, not like a main yeah. cast member. So like Brother um, Dumbo. <laughs> Big Boa comes with a dumbbell, doesn't it? Not only one dumbbell, but two, two. dumbbells. Okay. Is there a room for a third dumbbell? No. Oh, well, okay. There's three of us here, you know. Otherwise, he would have to lift it with his... PP. <laughs> Where did that come from, Quentin? What's that about? Uh, I don't know. It's pew, weird. Pew, pew, pew. Pew. You're spelling pew pew wrong, mate. It's P-E-W. Oh. Pew pew. Uh, yeah, I, I see. All right, Campbell, I'll stop complaining. All right, Campbell's <laughs> just done like the video after the comment. Yeah. Right? Um, oh, got him. Yeah. So Lawrence yeah. had a, you know, like any of these figures coming out now and like, Adam, how many people or companies or Facebook groups or influencers are, are straight up with, ah, oh, buy my punching bag that comes for Big Ball? <laughs> I haven't seen anyone selling it, but I haven't been looking either. So. Oh, it was in, in Lawrence's video he had one. He was talking about it. Yeah, that's, I think that's 3D printed. And he yes, just put yeah. tape around it or something. Yeah. I don't care nah. that much to have like a full blown gym for Big Boa. Like, mm. I honestly, I bought him uh, because when I got the original figure, my mum got that for me. And I can remember where I was and where, where we bought it and opening it up in the car. And so there's probably some, like, connectivity to that for this purchase. Like, he doesn't, you know, he's a good figure and all, but at the same time, really, what's he do? Like, he hasn't really had a lot of presence in the, the Joe media. Like, Larry Hammer probably looked at him and was like, whatever, dickheads. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? So... Um, it's just a cool thing, mate. It's like most yeah. of the classifieds. Yeah. It's just a cool um, thing. And I just want to bust it open and get that buckled head off and put his mask on and have the character. He'll go in the shelf and he'll go on a stand, Lenny. Can you, can you ever rip that packaging? Like when you take him out of the boxes, you're like, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Like I, Yeah, man. Like so these window packaging – things i don't keep them like okay i can't i've kept i've kept all the um art based ones but these ones straight in the bin okay yeah i don't have a do need you, for them do you show that in your video you do like a massive tear no nah, because like they're a bit hard to sort of really bust into i think because of the plastic aspect i haven't what about really the tried other side that's cardboard Excuse me, I just burped. Um, I, you know what? Why don't we put it to the test now? <laughs> See? Oh. Yeah. So, you know, it's designed to be just pulled out like that. So, there you go. That's how it's done. I don't, th I don't think it would make for great content, Lenny, but you got some <laughs> free. So there you go. Rip it up. Rip it up. <laughs> Yeah! Who needs a punching bag when you've got could... that visual stimulation? I was about I to couldn't... whip my top off and do a victory lap. Yeah. I couldn't do that. Like, all of my, my classifieds, my three classifieds that I've got, I've just eased them out of the packet and I've yeah. kept the box. That's why I'm after, mate. That's why I'm after. <laughs> Honestly, I didn't think Adam would do that, but he's showing his colours. I don't know, man. Like, like... When I opened up um, a few Cobra Troopers recently, I was just like, Pfft. and normally down here, I'll keep like a box of, of like cardboard rubbish and stuff for recycling. And yeah, here it goes. I've been having a lot of fun recently doing those opening videos and just ripping the packaging, chucking them behind me. And then after I'm done, putting them all in the bin. Yeah, man. 
what we did when we were kids. I know I busted into things when I was younger, like that. Might as well have a look at him now that I've got him out of the packet. I, funnily enough, I was considering doing like a opening of, of this guy on the show tonight. I never mentioned that to you, but spontaneously. Yeah. <laughs> well, it, so we, I'm sorry, you, you don't have time. <laughs> Whoa. How good is that? It's very cool. I reckon he'd have teeth grinding issues. <laughs> let's let's do that. Let's give him the look that he's. All right, Aaron. While he's pulling his head off, <laughs> um, what are your purchases this week? I've got heaps. I've been saying for two weeks, Lenny, that I've been waiting for so much shit to come in. So heaps of shit come okay. has come in. Well, look at that. That's very cool. It's nice. There you go. First um, of all, my missus uh, went to town the other day. And uh, walked into a comic shop and yeah. brought me back these. Damn yeah. right she did. Um, Damn right I, she did. You should, don't you should probably never ever say my missus went to town. <laughs> Trust you to find a double entendre, Lenny. Um, anyways, uh, I don't know how I've managed to because every podcast and YouTube channel on the planet talked about these the day after they came out. Uh, I don't know how I haven't managed to spoil it for myself, but... Um, I started. I read Jute last night. That was very cool. Going to have a look at Cobra Commander soon. Um, I think I will keep buying. To be honest. Yeah, boy. That's what I wanted so, to hear. That's, that's what I wanted to hear. What is it? If you get the three comics, it's thirty bucks a month from your local comic shop. Um. Uh, yeah. 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 Roughly. Uh, uh, Nine ninety-five each. They were from Adelaide Comic yeah. Center. So. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, the missus has done done really well. Um, I also had some comics rock up from Canada this week. Also. Canada, Canada. Yep. Oh, so I've Canada. got. Um, I'm, I'm slowly filling some gaps. I've got a Tales of GI Joe number three, yep. issue three. There. Mm. I've also got an issue five. Some kid seems to have drawn a no. pencil on it. What else have I got here? I got a sixty six. Um, and a 91, so I'm slowly filling some gaps. I think I've got about 20 issues left to get, um, so getting edging ever closer. What you got there, Adam? See some blood, some the blood. blood on his knuckle luster. Um, some I'm other... very happy to hear that you're filling gaps, Aaron. All right, double and Todger for the win. This bike rocked up as well this week. Tiger Force Roadblock. Um, you'll be impressed with me, Lenny. Guess how much I paid for him? Twenty-eight dollars. Fifteen fifty. Okay. So that's that's a bargain. <laughs> if you uh, if you're patient enough, bargains come up. Uh, what else have I got here? I got this this dude. It's pretty cool. Tiger Force yeah, right. psych out. So I've always had a psych out, but he's never had arms. <laughs> Um, so I spotted a figure on eBay for cheap, and I grabbed him. Um, so pretty happy to uh, to have Tiger Force psych out. And then um, I also got like a box of bits and pieces for like sixteen bucks, and in there was a broken version three Dusty, which is this guy. So that's that's my that's my put together Dusty. Yeah, um, I like that. What? Yeah, what I didn't realize is that his body was used to create Street Fighter Guile Rock Trooper, um, which is this dude. Um, and the reason that's good is because the very first Joe lot that I picked up, big lot from a bloke in Salisbury East, just around the corner from me down here, this guy was in there, but his arms were broken. So both thumbs were broken. And because I got a beta Dusty, I was able to take – the arms off of Dusty and put it onto mm. onto Guile right. because Guile is a repaint. So now I've got a complete Rock Trooper Guile. What are you doing? And they're just blank arms. No yeah, sleeves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. yep, no sleeves. So mm. he's a there cool figure though. Just the speaking of tie-dye, maybe that's why I'm wearing tie-dye tonight. What else I got here? I got a package from Lenny. There was a bunch of stuff in there. So Lenny's cut me a good deal on a dock. I never yep. had a dock. That um, was a good deal. Yeah, uh, thank you for that. Uh, good thing about Doc is if you don't have his accessories, 
that doesn't matter. I don't really associate Doc with a stretcher or with a with a flare gun. You've always seen him in the in the comic and the cartoons looking after people. So mm. Doc, just as a Doc, that's yep. fine by me. Um, also got some bits and pieces for a rock viper. So uh, yep. Lenny sent me a gun and a, and a grappling hook, which is very cool. What else? Hang on, where, where's that grappling hook? Show me again. I've wound it around the top. Show me. Actually. You know it slides into the backpack, right? Slides into the backpack. Oh, you haven't got the right backpack. Maybe not. No. What backpack is that? That's not a rock uh, the backpack? Nope. No. That is not. Okay. No, the rock the rock viper one is a black one, and Correct. it's got an actual holder for that grappling hook. Ooh, and okay. um it like that. I think we've talked about this before, like that rock yep. viper. Is spectacular how it all works mm. together. Okay, I'll have to have a look. Oh. Um, also, I got some flippers for torpedo, some three D printed flippers. They yep. look phenomenal. So this torpedo, I got this this one from a bloke in China for about twelve dollars, I reckon. China. So it came with China. From China. China. It came with the backpack and an accessory pack gun. I just needed some flippers, so I got got a nineteen eighty three torpedo. Very happy about that. Um, what else did Lenny cut me a deal on? He cut me a deal on a Sky Hello, Mate. Mike. Hello, Mike. Michael cut me a deal on a Sky Mate with uh, with visor with a, with a visor. So that's pretty cool. Um, have you uh, you've made boomerangs, haven't you, for Sky Mate? Yeah, for, I've made boomerangs for that. Yeah. Um, I also, Lenny, you cut me a great deal on a yeah on a mutt. Um, yeah. I had junkyard sitting here, which is good. And again, uh, not too fussed about not having accessories for Mutt because mm. I've always associated him in the comics and in the cartoons and sort of giving giving junkyard a bit of a scruff around the neck. So yeah. uh, happy just to have Mutt with a with a helmet and with a. I've got. I've just given him a an accessory pack gun, so I'm pretty pretty happy. One of the that things Mutt. I want to try and do next is. Um... I've got the phone that is capable of doing scanning. Yep. And I've oh, yeah. scanned a um, an order in. Like mm -hmm. I want to try and scan the pets in and see oh, yeah. how well they print up. So, yeah, that'd be good. Um, so, yeah, big week for me. That's everything. Um, yeah. Um, I've got uh, one more for you, Lenny. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually pretty happy with him. Coming. Really happy with him. We don't want to see cool. you coming, mate. Yeah, you do. You love it. All the colours of the rainbow. <laughs> Skittle dick. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh. Now, now, Lenny, language. I want to know what a rock fiber backpack looks like now. Yeah. I wonder All if right. I've got one in my, in my box of bits. I'm back. 40th is this anniversary it? trooper. Is that Rock Hopper? No, that's no. Uh, <laughs> Deep Six, is it? I don't know. Um, old mate with the. Hydro Viper? No. Oh, has it got the knife in it? Is there a knife in the. It's either Hyper. Hydro Viper or the Joe guy that's underwater. Is it not Deep Six? Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One of those two. Hmm. Oh, well, what do you got, Adam? Rock Viper yeah. backpack. Get me out, please. Anyone? <laughs> Old mate with a different kit. Correct. Oh, wow. Is, this is the gridiron desert loadout that is purposely made for Dusty. Which I conveniently and coincidentally reviewed this week. Mm -hmm. And this is from Gridiron. And uh, my camera is now gone. Why? I accidentally pressed the stop button. And yeah, so I got this recently. Um, it has How does that few... compare to uh, Bellaverse uh, Desert Rat? <laughs> <laughs> Well, Do, look, you does know. your simple mind like it? It looks pretty simple. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> the head on it. The head on it's pretty simple. Simple Minds is a great band. Just gonna say oh, yeah. it. 
Yeah. <laughs> Simple Don't Simon you be the fan. Get a timeless, him around, timeless rhyme. Simple Simon. Yeah. Oh my uh, god, I love Felipus. So yeah. So I got this, and you can check out the review on my channel, Shark Eye Toy View, if you want. Yeah. Um, it isn't without fault, unfortunately. Um, a couple of couple of things didn't really hit the mark and one of those for instance is the backpack that doesn't fit into his back despite heating the figure and it warped the peg a little bit it's too big for the whole giggity okay. that's what she said and and the uh canteen here there's no fixing point for it i think they were supposed to include some double-sided tape but they did not um but in subsequent releases of backpacks, they have a little peg where you get that on. So I don't know why they have it retro done, fitted this, and I'm not too sure. But anyway, you can check the review out if you want. And if not, well, stick it <laughs> well, this somewhere. Is your, this is your chance to uh, prove that you're not a shill for those that company, Adam. <laughs> I don't get anything for free, mate. It's all spent with my own coin. So I definitely you know, don't. Shield. I actually thought, I was thinking yesterday after watching a few videos online about, should do we need to do a show just explaining that the word shill is no different to the other wanker words like FOMO, um, YOLO, um, and every other dickhead word that is out there? <laughs> Well, the, thing, the difference is that it, it is an actual word and people have just, in the, in the toy community, decided to take it and run with it. And so it's yeah, become, a, buzz, it's become sure. a buzzword, Liddy. It's become sure. a buzzword. Yeah. And yeah. an insult, a slur, if you will. Yeah. Um, it, look, people like to throw it around left, right and centre. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, there are things I do like about this. Like I like his M203 standalone is cool, which yep. has a slim and I like the different version of his gun. This is the Tavor. It's not the Famas, so it's a bit different. I think we Similar. can uh, safely say that we're not shills for any company because, uh, you know, we don't really we don't get anything. So, nope, we buy what we like. Um, I don't actually know the different. Aaron, do you know the difference between the brown? I've got both of these. I've got a black underbelly junkyard and a brown. Underbelly junkyard. Do you know the difference? Mine's black. I don't yeah. know the difference. Because when I was sorting these for you, yeah, I looked at both of the dogs and was like, oh, which mm -hmm. one's rarer? And then I keep on my life. So, <laughs> but I would be interested in knowing. Okay. Um, yeah, rock vipers have that bloody. I'm here to clean the pool moustache. Absolutely, they do. I don't think that is an incinerator backpack because ah, yeah, incinerator it is. isn't black, it's grey and it has no. the... Don't argue with Campbell. He's right. That's incinerator. 100% okay. that is. Yep. No, he's done well there. All right. Yep. I believe it. 100%. Good work, Campbell. Okay. <laughs> Black is 90s. So what, another V or something? Oh, okay. Fair um, Okay. Well, the only thing that I got in the mail this week is I bought this from the States. Ooh. Nice. Does it fit on your noggin? Uh, I haven't opened it yet. I'm going to probably <laughs> open it on a video. Okay. But it's Luke's helmet, and uh, this thing's like 270 or something in Zing, and they had it on Amazon with free shipping from the States for 160 bucks. Oh, yeah. That reminds me. I'll be back. Okay. So for 160 <laughs> for a helmet like that, yeah. Are you going to open it up and wear it next week on the show? Um, I don't know about wearing it, but I, I think may have it open by then. I think you should, because I tried to wear the snake eyes mask that you gifted me. 
Put it on. Thank put you. it on. Put it on. It doesn't doesn't fit over the old fucking lug holes, put mate. It on. It's a bit tight. <laughs> <laughs> this looks like the yeah. episode coming up. Without its sledge eyes. <laughs> I have a helmet too, Lenny. Have you got your little boy helmet on as well? <laughs> I'm using the force. Is it a German helmet? <laughs> no. Is it a Jewish helmet? It's Indian. <laughs> I don't know what an Indian helmet looks like. Big smiles, Lenny. Big smiles. <laughs> it's, it's not um, Okay. I, my name is Aaron, so it could be assumed it's Jewish. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So what if well, it is? We're here tonight to um, look at some V1 hit wonders. Um, so if you think along the terms of, uh, you know, hearing a really good song on the radio and then think what other good songs that person did, uh, I sort of, I thought, I raised this with the boys and thought, um, you know, Hasbro's released some really good Joes back in the day. And then some of them were immediately followed by either what you could call average or, or pieces of poop or, or whatever you like, but just not as good as the first one. <laughs> so um, the boys gave me so many figures to list. Ten. Just gonna run through them. There were ten, Lenny. There is, there is, uh, yes, 10. Yes. 10. Um, okay. In no particular order. Well, we're going to go with Adam first mm. and hear it. Yeah, I've got to figure out how to do this. Uh, Should I remove my helmet? Uh, this no, helmet? Keep it on. Aaron, if you're comfortable in the helmet, wear the helmet. I, I'm always happiest when I've got my helmet out. So the first one we're looking at is Flash. Flash. -na -na. Oh. Woo. All right. These are always Adam, true Flash. This is one of yours. So you helmets Adam's off, bro. Yeah, so Flash, obviously an iconic V1 standout in the original 13. You know, you had the red uh, protective gear, a helmet with a visor similar to Aaron's. <laughs> and, um, you know, a laser rifle, of course. But if we go down and have a look at his V2, and oh, we go no. from that starter example of the original oh, no. line, we go oh, to the no. V2 and click on that and open it up right there, 2005, oh, and go to, the, go to the page, Lenny. I want the people to see Flash in when he's all kitted up. Houston, there he is. We have a problem. There he is. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Uh, he looks like a flashlight. It's Buzz Aldrin. Mate, he can buzz off. It, that is <laughs> that is hot garbage. Yeah, Get it? This is a laser trooper and he's flash. Yeah, not a fan at all. It's almost like they've gone back to... Um, like the original G.I. Joes? I don't know the, what they did, Lenny, but the all I know from is... The 60s. Yeah. It's like it's actually almost astral. that style. Yeah. It looks like a person doing fancy dress as a condom. It's horrible. They stuffed it. And if anyone in the chat has that figure, I will be shocked. Where Check out the 2009. <laughs> Have a look at the 2009. <laughs> What's going on there? Yeah, that's... Yeah. <laughs> Is that, uh, is that is that Spider Man? <laughs> That's that? excessively racist, is what it looks like. <laughs> oh my no, god! Bring it up again. Um, it's Venom. He <laughs> actually, when you go to that figure, though, if I think if he's kitted up, he looks a bit better than that. I could be wrong though. Don't hold me to that. Yeah, not much better, but. <laughs> and that's the rise of cobra line everybody thanks for coming do you scuba <laughs> all right get this don't off the bloody screen. when i when you suggested this and i looked it up 
Adam. I actually didn't see that V2. All I saw was four figures that look exactly the same. Mm. And I thought that was average. So, yeah. Well, the 2007 and 2008 are pretty much, um, you know, uh, carbon copies, so to speak, of the V1. That's that's when... The yeah, they're all... Yeah. Yeah, 25th yeah. launch started. All right. So up next, we've got... Let's go this way. Okay. Ripcord. <laughs> Hell yeah. So uh, pretty pretty sweet figure, right? Yeah, absolutely, man. Ooh. A crowd pleaser, one of my favorites. Look at him. Like that that is special. Fan. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah, man. He's very good. Absolutely. And then where did, oh I've got that. That's a that's the black helmet that you had on That's ambush. The black there, helmet. Yeah. Um and what does it go to, Adam? What, we're going oh, to the Well, we're B2. going to the B2, Lenny. That's where uh, we're going. Jesus. <laughs> yep, yep, there it is, right there. V2. Escalated really quickly. Yep, Oops, sure yeah. did. Yep. Punch it's it on the, the screen, one. Lenny. Punch it on the, the which, which one? Which one of v, the... The V2, man. The V2. It's all V2, about... The v2, V3, V4, V5. No, because no, V5 is actually not bad. But V2 is... Well, we're going to show the people what V2 is. It's the white chicks version. version. Now, i got a lot of love for Marlon Wayans. He's entertained me over the years. <laughs> and, uh, you know... You I'm sure people... graduated to maggots. <laughs> I'm sure some people uh, took issue with him being cast as his character. I don't have an issue with that. What I have an issue with is that figure. Can you please go to the all geared up version of that, Lenny? Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, get uh, that shit. <laughs> Come on, bro. Accelerator suits. That's not ripcord, man. That is not a halo jumper, guys. What the hell did they do? And this also begs the other question. How the hell did Ripcord not get a V2 in the original vintage line? Yeah, no way. Pathetic. I think Pathetic. he did. His, 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 name was, uh, his name was Airborne version 2. Mm. Just quietly. Now, Instead if you go to that V5, Lenny, go to that V5 for a second. I'm well, just noting we have another eight figures to get through. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, trying to, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to whip through here as quick as we can. And go to the geared up photo. Mr. Weems. Now, all jumbo weapons aside, that is like, you know, a jungle assault sort of ripcord. Now, picture a V2 ripcord in the original line looking like that. Cool. Mm. You'd buy it. Mistakes were made. Mistakes were made, Lenny. And I like to think of this as a fever dream. Mm. <laughs> but not a good one. No, not a good one at all. All right. So that's a rip accordu. And then... Give it a tap. So, we'll tap, tap, tap. This guy, who is a really nice figure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Iconic Cobra pilot. From the Bush had, Wars. You know, had a good uh, stint in the comics. Oh, yeah, that, that was good too, that Indian one. Hmm. Right. Yeah. Little head, big body. That one looks like the worst one of a lot. That, like, that's just ran out of money whilst designing a figure type. Just shit. go to the V2, Lenny. V2, Lenny. <laughs> you don't want to be here all night. How did well, I'm thinking the worst, mate. 
That that's doesn't look too right. bad. No. Nah. At least that's he's got a cobra good. symbol on him. Whoop de do. Oh. That doesn't give me wild weasel vibes at all. Absolute oh. pinhead. Which yeah. one of these does? <laughs> that one there at the bottom. This one. Yeah. yeah it like it's an actual replica. Sure. So that's one out of five. Mm-hmm. Like they're all poo, really. Yeah. The this point one, here is this that. Is, this is just a, a carbon copy in a modern body. So well, it's not the like they've. Mind, though. Like, but we're, we're looking more at the, at the subsequent releases, not yeah. like not like the reproduction ones. But like, mm. you know, that that first figure is striking when compared to the Rattler. Yeah. But that is just hot garbage. <laughs> They're all shit. Yeah. Yes. Hmm. Yes. Wild Weasel deserved better. All right. Let's weasel. Weasel on out of here for the next one. It's my old old friend next. Um, what did I call this guy? You know, you're telling the story. <laughs> uh, I, I, what was I? What's the? Because I haven't memory break. Wait, what's it's the Alpine. Alpine. Yeah, but I wasn't selling an Alpine on eBay. I was selling oh. the snow figure. Oh, iceberg. Okay. Yeah, I was selling an iceberg, and I labelled it Alpine. Okay. <laughs> I think someone was like, "Oh, check out this guy." I'm like, "Okay, I'll fix that," and I put <laughs> iceberg Alpines, mate. Beautiful work. I saw that that shit. Look at this figure, though, man. Like, another stellar example of a V1 release. Accessories off the charts. You know, first Mountaineer in the line. Had a big stint in the in the cartoon where he's a fan favourite. Didn't appear much in the comics, but, you know, epic. Epic figure. <laughs> Yep, you do finance too. You do your tax. Some cable in that photo. Have you ever climbed a mountain, Lenny? Does it look like I've ever climbed a mountain? <laughs> well, I don't know. Can we talk about Joe's and quit the double entendres? <laughs> <laughs> so go to the V two. Straight to the V two. No dicking around. Come on. <laughs> You don't want to do this tiger for No, there, no, really. I don't want to look at that piece of trash either. It looks like Bubble Bill. <laughs> oh, look, Alpines decided to go play minor league baseball for uh, the Birmingham Buttholes. Like, <laughs> what the hell, man? What the? Can you go? Like, I, I don't, I don't, I don't even know what accessories they gave him if they were like similar to the original, but. Man, what a disappointment. <laughs> what a disappointment. It's good that they kept that buck the whole way through, though, right? The same piece. He looks of he's white there. He's not even black. They changed him to white. They ripcorded him. <laughs> now, if you really want to be sh shocked, look at the one with his leader housing on. Woo! Get the pins Why out, mate. Do that. Sheesh. What's with that mo? Well, in the in the one before, he was eating it. In the two thousand and eight, <laughs> he was eating his own mustache. We get back to it. You can see this one. Yeah, he's eating it. <laughs> Good times at Alpine High. All right, and lastly for Adam. Is Aaron's mate Snowstorm? Mainframe. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Mainframe. A striking grey uh, deco, yeah. and then we go to this piece of shit. <laughs> Looks like he's got no shirt on. Yeah. 
it club does. Club you're right, Aaron. Gym, it does. Keep going on. It looks like he's a member of Cobra. Can you just go to the V2, Lenny, and click on it, please? I want to see the other stuff that comes with it. If it's the same accessories as the original. Yeah, because it's the Mission Brazil, isn't it? Yeah. 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 It came with a little baggie of bits and pieces. Interesting. That's weird. Well, that's all the all the the accessories for the rest of the set because you got right. leather neck and wetsuit and stuff in it. Oh yeah. Cool. But that is not cool. <laughs> well, that's interesting too. Like that third one, he's called Data Frame, and that's yeah. the yeah. main frame. Yeah. Yeah, they lost they lost the the trademark, obviously. But yeah, that that red one, I know it's a highly sought after figure, like most of the Mission Brazil figures are. But you know what? I'm not seeking it out, I can tell you that much. Yeah, that it's probably the worst it. from that Mission Brazil set. Yeah, agreed, man. Definitely. You could team him up with your bloody Read along, whatever it's called, tripwire, whatever it is. Read and write tripwire, the red one. Read and snap. What's it called, Aaron? You you know what I'm talking about. Read and talk. <laughs> yeah. You know that yeah. really rare yeah. Trip, yeah. Listen, tripwire? Listen and fun. Listen and fun. Thank you. That's the one. Yeah. So, so close. close. <laughs> so close. <laughs> Read and talk, listen and run. And... <laughs> such, such is my level of interest on that yeah. figure. Oh, look, it's Lenny. Lenny, what are you doing All on the right. screen? Yeah. Aaron. I got some of these figures out, Lenny. So you can put me back on screen if you want. Okay. Yeah. Oh, nice one, Azza. Nice one. I like it. So Frostbite, he's 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 a cool figure. He's a ha very happy Joe, and he does he his job. He's very cool, Aaron. He's very happy cool. To be he does his job, but then I mean, version two comes along, and all of a sudden he's he's running around in the jungle with with tiger pants on. Uh, I actually don't mind that that figure though. It doesn't make sense. He's also got red hair, so I, I don't I don't know how. And then the color scheme doesn't make sense. Yeah, it doesn't. He frostbite it, in yeah. name is a snow dude, and yes. now he's a tiger. Now he's a tiger dude. Give me a spell. Yeah, but it perfectly matches his vehicle. Yeah, of course you would defend him because your name is frostbite because <laughs> um, he's awesome. Okay, all right, I'll let you have that one. But the all next right. one. The next wait, one is completely wait, indefensible. Can I just say something, Aaron? Can I just say something? Yeah, shoot. Yeah, shoot. We're talking about the Tiger Force figures. He's like, besides the fact that they re-dyed his beard, the yeah. the outfit isn't the worst of those Tiger Force figures. It's not too bad. No. No. But no. I, I agree with you. It is not a good follow-up to the original. Absolutely not. But, Lenny, um, the third sorry, one. Can we just... Just say Ooh, hi Casey. to the podcast from the pit, guys. Hello, Casey. How's it going, mate? Um, Casey. Thanks for joining us. He hasn't been online in a couple of weeks. Casey, I'm hanging out to see you online right. again over the weekend. So get, get online. But um, anyway, back to Frostbite. Version 3, yep. Lenny. Yep. Indefensible, mate. What the hell yep. is going on here? Yeah, what the hell is going on here? That one is What's poop. going on here? Yep. What's going on here? Like, I don't, They tried to give him a turtleneck, but what's happened is he's ended up with this strange sort of bulge on his neck. And he's he's seven foot tall. He's like he's way taller than all the other Joes. I don't understand it. Um, just it's a really weird. bad head sculpt as well. Like it, it yeah, doesn't I mean, look like him. No, I mean Frostbite has goggles. They they forgot Ooh. the goggles. Where are the goggles? Um, yeah, just Ooh. ridiculous. Um, so uh, one hit wonder. You win Frostbite. Hundred percent. All right. Uh, let's go. The next one on Aaron's list, yeah, is I don't know if if people might actually fight you on this one. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, hundred percent. So I've, I've got my figures out here as well. Okay. Um, so the original Firefly. I mean, you can't beat that. That's just. That's one of the best G.I. Joe figures ever. Like, seriously, that's that's top ten. Would you agree, boys? It's definitely nice. Top yeah. ten figure of all time, like a, of the vintage line? Yeah, yeah. I would not go top ten. You wouldn't go top ten? 
It's definitely oh, a nice yeah. figure, but not top ten for oh. me. Oh, Aaron, I, I love him so much, and I, I, <laughs> I still don't. I still don't have one. Would you believe? I've never owned one. Um, yeah, he's he's got to be top twenty. Sure. Twenty. All right, that's fair. Anyways, with issue number one twenty six of the comic, which is this one. For some reason, Firefly, he got a brand new outfit. There it is there. He did. He sure now, did. Which no. looks pretty mean in the comic, but um, as a figure, <laughs> what did you do to him? What did you do to Firefly? <laughs> oh, man. Um, but how close is that to the one in the comic? It looks pretty close, right? Yeah, absolutely it does. It's so in terms of like matching the comic, they've done really well. They have. But um they're getting away from yeah. the actual dude. And then to make matters worse, they throw in this thing. Like what what the yeah. Oh, that thing sucks. <laughs> I don't I don't it's like some sort of spinning top and this thing's always missing. You try and find Mate. one of them on eBay, they're like thirty bucks. Uh, Even as so a kid cut off. Even as a kid, yeah, that thing was yeah. cast to the side, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, Casey agrees with me. Fireflies in the top ten. Thank you, Sir Casey. Yeah, uh, I'm the same, Phil. It's definitely a signature figure. Yes. But whether it's in a top ten is a different thing, I reckon. I think there's definitely figures that are nicer than it. It's hard enough to do a top ten of the original line, like yeah. Of just the Joes alone, like yeah. not even the Cobra figures. Yeah. Yeah. All right. We actually actually see Firefly without his without his face mask on in that fish. What's, what's, what's going on there? I don't know. Rob Rob Liefeld probably drew it. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. So hey, just so you can confirm it. Definitely not Rob. <laughs> these are all the versions. Indeed. And they keep to that hidden face until they had V25. Ray Stevenson yeah. figure, I think it is, from the movie. 2013. Retaliation. Mm. Mm. May he rest in peace. All right, yeah, thank you for that, Aaron. Mm -hmm. All right, um, next. Is this guy. Oh, yeah. Major Blood. I mean, he's iconic. Absolutely iconic. Um, the best thing about him, I think, is this robotic arm. It is just... Yes. It is so cool. He is a, he is a dastardly human being. Um, color scheme, great. Um, accessories, nice and simple, but but effective. You know, nice little mo and an eye patch there. And then, um, then things... Start to go a bit downhill. Um, but, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, so uh, he's got that many grenades attached to him. Come version two, he's starting to look a bit like an Ankylosaurus or something. He's got this space age kind of weapon. I don't know what's going on there. Uh, and the color scheme, I don't know, it's just sort of, you know, completely different and. Just uninspiring. You take, you take that yellow out of that figure and you make that black, that looks like a good figure. And give him a black gun. That's probably fair. That's probably yep. fair. Um, but missing the arm as well. So what happened to the robotic arm? Maybe it's under those yeah. gloves. But that's, they, that's Blood's signature. Um, mate, where did it go? They, they definitely uh, missed the, missed the uh, memo about that one. Yep. So maybe Mindbender gave him a transplant. Um <laughs> And then as you go on, oh my gosh, that that purple one! I don't know what's going on there. Like I think they were leaning into Terminator or something. He's got like a red eye. It's uh, almost like Kano from Mortal Kombat. Yes, yeah, mm, yeah. It is yeah. A bit. yeah. And then the Python Patrol one, uh, uh, version five. <laughs> what, is, what is going on there? Mm. I actually don't mind that. I actually don't mind. <laughs> 
It's starting to look like I, a cool thing. I recall ever seeing that one in person, but I kind of yeah. dig that. He looks like, you know what he does look like there? He doesn't, he looks like he belongs with the Iron Grenadiers there. Oh, yeah. yeah. He looks like he's trying to fart in that photo. Mm. He must be mountain climbing. Yeah. I like that 2008. That's pretty cool because that looks like, looks like what was running Which around one? in the comics and the cartoons. Version 10. 10. That looks like it was running around, what was running around in the cartoons. The face is that, that's it's exactly what that is, it, Aaron. That's it. That was um, the 25th one where they did from the cartoon series. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So that's Major Blood. And mm -hmm. we got two left. <laughs> These ones I didn't get out of the cabinet. It's a bit of a classic. And here we go. Barbecue. Barbecue. Beautiful figure. Um, you can look at him and realize straight away he is a firefighter. You know, he's colored like a firefighter. His um his helmet is got a medieval sort of a look, but it's mean as accessories are fantastic. That axe that he hangs on to, awesome. Um, version two though, they sort of I don't know I don't know why they made him part of the Marauders. He was just never meant to be blue and green. <laughs> I don't understand. It's just they should have left him alone. They should have picked someone else. It just just looks so strange to me. I don't know. Is Hazel still in the crowd? But that whole color scheme is a bit. How's your father? Yeah, yeah. And I of course, uh, of course, the dick and the the thumbs didn't last five minutes. But that's 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 a different story. And then version three, absolute monstrosity. What the hell is going on there? Mm. <laughs> That looks like that looks like an original action force figure, like you know, the, the, they did before they did the Joe's. Yeah, one of those Palatoy jobbies. The Palatoy one. That's yeah. not bad. Well, that's just a redo of the original, Lenny. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That, that Marauders one though, that blue helmet makes it look like a looks like a trophy or something sitting on a on a shelf. Being jammed up at like, Smurf's like, ass or something. It's, it's weird. <laughs> <laughs> Why do they do that? I've got yeah. one more, eh? Yeah, one you do. more. Mm. I didn't get this one out either. Okay. And here. This one I'm upset. Because they messed with a classic look. So the original cutter, fantastic. Love him. He is awesome. Boston Red Sox cat, life jacket, life, uh, Coast Guard uniform. Looks fantastic. Looks awesome. And then you get into the, the next couple of versions and they've just splashed neon all over him. And, um, yeah, <laughs> now I get, speaking of neon, now I get Aaron's choice of shirt. I don't know, Phil loves Marauders Barbecue. Sorry, Phil. But yeah, version two and version three of Cutter. Yucky. I do not, Lilith. I do not. Yep, the Slaughter's right. Marauders can kick rocks as far right. as I'm concerned. <laughs> Apologies to Zazel. Okay, so going down, going down. Yep. Two and three of Cutter. Just ordinary. So there's the two. Oh, yeah, I've got that guy. And he's got an oar or something attached to his yeah. leg. It's yeah. weird. One of the best things about Cutter as well was those rolled-up sleeves. And mm. they've, just, they've just ripped them off him for the next two versions. It's just so annoying. Uh, so he's actually just wearing a life jacket with, under, with nothing underneath now. What did the, V2, what did the V2 come with? Was uh, that like with, a sub team? It came with a uh, spring-loaded missile launcher with grappling. Yeah. 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 But it was this weird ass flashlight that attaches to his leg, hmm. and it's really big as well. It's I don't know why it exists. It's a flashlight. Uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, the coloration on that is just offensive to the eyes. That that orange paired with that. The other thing with that, Aaron, is they barely even tried. Like, look at him next to the V1. He's got the same, like, orange vest. Like, yeah. 
Oh, no. Navy pants, a cap, and they yeah. cut his sleeves yeah. off and didn't give him a shirt. Like, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. A big ass flashlight. And what about the what about the V <laughs> three? What did the V three get released? V three what? That, um, that one I've never seen in in the flesh. So, yeah, I don't recall seeing it either. What did he come with? He must have come with it's something. From DF. So just oh, that's yeah, right. Just like one little, gun. Yeah, yeah. It was intended to be part of the DEF subset. However, Hasbro decided not to release any DEF and just said repackage them as battle core figures. Hmm. I mean, it's not horrible. Yeah. It's not great. It's not great either, but... You That's know, the kind of figure, just... if you're just collecting every Joe, then sure, it's great. But <laughs> if you could pick between that and the original, you'd pick the original. Yeah. Shout out yeah. to the completists out there. Yeah. <laughs> so That's my five, Lenny. Okay. That's great. Did I do good? Did I do good? You did. Awesome. Except for that frostbite part. But... <laughs> what about uh, you, Lenny? Have you got any picks? No, because once I saw you guys had picked 10, I knew we'd be over time like we are. <laughs> well, have you got one? Have you got like just one you can throw to the no. crowd? No. Oh, well, that's a bit lazy. I'm happy to listen to you guys. Was was there did we pick anyone that you would have had on your list? Um I don't think, like, I definitely wouldn't have picked ones like Frostbite. Barbecue, I can see, but yeah. yeah. I, like, I I think the thing is, I just think differently about the figures. Like, a lot of them I don't find offensive. I just don't like them. Yeah. Like, there's, you know, like when we looked at Ripcord earlier, the fact that it just dramatically changed so much. I find that's poo just because they've changed it rather than what it looks like. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Well, you can blame the the producers and director of Rise of Cobra for that one. Yeah. Um, but nevertheless, like, it's, it's definitely an interesting way of looking at things. Like, how many, like, we've looked at 10 today. How many more are out there and just uh, average after that V1? <laughs> I went through like when I was picking my five, I went through from like 82 to around about 88, I think. And mm. there's a lot of figures that have really good V2s, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and there's some, yeah. you know, there's some V1s, for instance, like Big Balls here. He doesn't even have a V2, really. Yeah, like, right. you know what I mean? So there are exceptions. Um, Could be a uh, topic for another week. Which yeah. V2 was better than the V1? Yeah, well, that's that's the thing in terms of like that Tiger Force uh, Frostbite. I do genuinely think it's almost as good as the first one. Like I wow. love the colours. Yeah, uh, but that's all right. Form. Each okay. to their own. Might be like. That's it. <laughs> um, and and thank you very much. When you say that would be a great show, we've called it first. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no um, swagger. We don't do swagger jacking on this show. No. None of that. <laughs> uh, yeah, see, Trig's on the Trig's on the roll. Oh, oh. We'll let you off. Um, okay, so <laughs> news. Um, we will be doing a Anzac Day show. Mm. We are unsure of who will be on the show at this point. I think at this point there is at least us three. Um, we are waiting to see if Zazel is uh, available. And we were unable to get any token Kiwis to attend. So um, <laughs> it'll just be Ak. Our Anzac spirit is dead. Yeah. Uh, but that's all right. People got things on. So, uh, and I did sort of, when I asked Phil, and he said, well, we don't sell a, well, we don't. We don't remember Anzac Day here in Japan. I was like, good point. Good point. <laughs> um, so, yeah, look out for the Anzac Day show. At this point, it should be around 11 o'clock in the morning on Anzac Day. Um, I do appreciate that a lot of people will be out in the town. 
I just don't do that anymore. I prefer to spend the day with family and friends being these guys. Um, and then later in the day, maybe a few beers with <laughs> X7 mates. Um, so, yeah, if you're not doing anything on Anzac Day or you go to the early parade and you want to come hang with us later in the morning, we'll be here. Um, uh, you're all right, Phil. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> it's all good, mate. Yeah. Another time. Another time. And same with the Rule Brothers. Just get your business done. Yep, that's fair enough. Um, so in other news, I've uh, uploaded some our, our first seven episodes of yeah. this show. So yeah. the so OG episodes from yep. like uh, April and May last year. Mm. I've uploaded them to the Apple podcast um, platform. So if you're like me and you're driving to work or going to wherever and you have an Apple phone or you can download the Apple podcast app on a Samsung or whatever and you can listen to our original episodes and see how much we've changed. Yeah. And there's some good mm. ones there too with Kirk Bazigian and yep. uh, maybe not Buzz yet, but, but definitely Kirk, I reckon, would have been in the first seven. Is that Right. Who is it? Kirk Bazigian. Was he in a, Yeah, in we a definitely got Kirk. Yep. I uploaded Kirk. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah. yeah um, Kirk was phenomenal. Mm, yeah. yeah, if you want to laugh, go and check those out. Yep. Um, and I'm basically uploading two or three per day. Sweet. Until we hit to this point. Hmm. So eventually we'll um We'll get to this episode being up on there as well. And we'll just keep going from there, which is great. Lenny, I've got a quick plug. Go. The uh, Adelaide Comic and Toy Fair is on again on Sunday. Okay. So uh, if by chance you're in Adelaide and uh, you're watching this, come and find me. I'll be with my cousin on uh, the Power of Nostalgia stall, uh, hunting for Joes as well throughout the day. Uh, looking forward to it. It's always a good show. Uh, going to be fantastic. Are you taking stuff to sell now? Yeah, I've got some bits and pieces here that um, oh, I tried to sell uh, a while back on, on the Facebook group that, you know, I have left over. Uh, so I'll take a few little bits. I don't try to impede too much on Mark's setup because he's the guy that pays the table. Um, he's always Does he sell stuff. a lot of Joe stuff? He sells all different things. Um, okay. So um, he takes a small selection of Joe's. Um, but Joe's aren't mm. frequently purchased there. Um, yeah, it's yeah, a lot of lot of toys and video games. To be um, completely honest with you, so um, yeah, um, it's always good though. Okay. Love it. It's fantastic. Good. Yeah. Sunday. I got a quick. Plug. I got a quick plug too. Go. Ball out on Amazon Prime. Oh, it started this week. Yeah. What is it? Sorry? Awesome show. Awesome what? show. Yeah. What? Fallout. Oh, yeah. I'm watching it as well. It's so good. What episode are you up to? Uh, we got three episodes to go. Is there six in the season? No. Eight. It's only... Yeah, it'll probably be eight, eight or ten, something like yeah, that. Yeah, I'm, I'm up to episode four. It's bloody good. Yeah, mm. absolutely. It's. It, I've never played the video games, and I kind of want to now, even though I know it's a different story and whatnot, but the production of the show from the practical effects, the CGI, the use of actual sets, as well as obviously green screens, amazing. It is the perfect blend of those movie elements to make a show, and as well as good actors, of course, to make a show like that just pop. It is fantastic. Get onto it. If you're not watching it, you will enjoy it. If you like sci-fi, westerns, medieval things, and all weird shit. Cool. I'd sort of got that steampunky oldness, but newness about things. It's yeah. it doesn't look like steampunk, but it's definitely a steampunk feel. Yeah, it's definitely got the steampunk uh, mm. sort of inspiration for sure. Um, yeah, I've never played it. I know about it though. There's a fair few of them. Apparently, number four is a good one to play. Okay. X Men '97. I haven't tuned into that yet. A lot of people are talking about it, and the toys, 
look awesome. If you go and have a look at them in Zing, they've got the like the forty or forty five dollar version toys, and they're really nice. We got them here before they hit in the rest of the world. Okay, sweet. Um, yeah, well, that's really all I was going to talk about was Fallout, but hey, saw your thunder. Oh yeah, no, we finally finished that. Um, American Gladiators one as well. And that was really good. It was a good series, wasn't it? I actually found it interesting that my missus enjoyed it more than I did. Like, <laughs> she was like, oh, yeah, I don't mind watching this. So, <laughs> mm. that was unusual. <laughs> and um, enjoy work, Lenny's mate. marriage. <laughs> enjoy work, Casey. Have a great day, mate. See you, Casey. Okay, thanks everyone for joining in. Um, check out the usual social medias for nearly everyone that's uh, in the audience and also these two knuckleheads. Um, <laughs> uh, stay tuned for announcements on our next Tuesday night show, which I think will be next Tuesday night. We're going to do something that we haven't done before. Uh, oh. and I haven't seen anyone do it before. Anyone Ooh, in the this world is... do this, this before. Good. Yeah. Um, it may end up looking like a pile of steaming shit, but <laughs> no one has done this before, and we're going to give it a go, and it's an original idea as far as I know. And if it's not, well, who gives a shit? Um, I must have missed then, the memo, but it sounds good. No, no you I've got the memo. I've got, got the memo. memo. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, well, I, yeah, okay, all right, now I know. And I stay tuned for Anzac Day. I'll put that up so you'll know what time that is. So you can come and hang with us if you want. Uh, apart from that, hit that like button. And uh, I'm I'm really lagging at the moment with um, subs and stuff like that. So if you've got any friends that need to listen to three dickheads talk shit <laughs> about toys and GI Joes, put them onto us. Um, Thanks very much for watching and we'll see you next week. Bye-bye.